similar sort of shot that Judd Trump fired in in his first shot of the tournament and made a century break. Well, there was no doubting his intentions, but he played it in a different way then. He rolled the first one in. This one he tried to come round the back of the black. Pretty fortunate to be able to cover that red up that went back into Bork there. But it'll be on Jao's mind here. Is he looking to play a safety or is he looking for the long pot? Oh, the pot's to play. One. Definitely got two of the attacking players in this one. gone further than he would have liked. But if he can hit this red into the right pocket, it's perfect. And yes, he can just sneak past the ping. Plenty of reds open. A really good opportunity. Gudong, one of the players who first burst onto the scene in 2007. He won the Asian under-21 title, and that would be no easy one to win. No. Yeah, it's a massive game in Asia. And he appears a wild card in a ranking tournament, the 2007 China Open, as a 17-year-old, where he beat. Tom Ford, 5-zip, not a bad start in your first ranking tournament in the first round, but he lost the next round to Matthew Stevens. Well, he got his revenge the last match, didn't he? He sure did. Hit him. The one that uh, got most people to set up and take notice though was the 2009 China Open. 23. He beat Ding Junhui, who was the favourite for the event, and set up a meeting with Ronnie O'Sullivan. Then he pushed O'Sullivan all the way in the second round and ended up losing 5 3, but he announced himself to the world then. Well, he just caught that pack just a fraction thick, and that's why he's 31. headed towards that red. Any thinner, he would have come the other side of the red and had a very good chance. And you can tell he doesn't really like playing safe either, but I think he's got her this time. Shabadong, 31. for that pot. Now, what's he left on? Red to the centre pocket, perhaps. Yep, that's definite now. And uh, 
quite wide of the target. A bit unlucky that the red's gone there, so good opportunity for Judd Trump. But a shot like that can be such a difference, can't it? I mean, make, he makes that from the black and ready to go Wait. again, but what results in is putting his opponent back to the table. Yes, and it's a great opportunity. Every red scattered very well. Eight. Nine. leaving himself options here probably wanted to not kiss that red but he can get back on the black 17 Number six, you'd expect him to do a lot of damage at this visit. 25. He's packed a lot into his um, nine years as a professional. Been to number one was in the 2012-2013 season. You're watching the first semi-final of the Australian Goldfields Open Snooker Tournament coming to you live from Bendigo. At the semi-final will be played tonight when Australia's Neil Robertson will be up against England's Mark Davis. And uh, that was a classy shot. Made it look easy. Use the natural angles. And that's what he does. He's a beautiful player to watch, isn't he? The way he strikes it's the yeah. ball, the way he stands. Looks easy. You'll be able to watch that uh, Robertson Davis semi final tonight from 7 o'clock. Live around Australia on Fox Interactive. Just press the red button. Red button here is Judd Trump. Frame wrapped up. The interest now is can he rack up a second century? And 114 in the first frame to take that out. Chinese opponent coming back and winning the second. Well, Phil, it's a high standard Seven. match so far. Eight. 
83. Now he has to play a nice shot, but a bit of backspin. Left hand side. There's the side. 88. Oh, just in the middle there. Could have been a lot easier there either way. Sometimes the players get a little bit cavalier towards the end of a frame and they've got it wrapped up, but this one there's a century in the making and they, they take a lot of pride in that. And round the angles. But how far down has it gone? Oh. 94. Well, this is a hard shot for a century. In off, on two in the centre pocket. Beautiful done. So Judge Trump is his second century of the match. Out for a 2 1 lead. This is the best of 11 frames, and there's plenty more to come yet. Looks impressive, though, when he's down there amongst them, Robbie. Well, as I was saying, he's such a smooth cueist and a confidence man. But this man, I think he's got a steely resolve too. Nothing phases him. Both attacking players. It's a shootout. Yeah, Just got to play the game, Phil, and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, it's good to watch. And you're watching it from Bendigo. This wonderful historic city, as you see the tulips in the centre of town there at the early spring, but as we go inside to these wonderful buildings and the Sacred Heart Cathedral, right now we're inside the Bendigo Stadium on semi-final day in the Australian Goldfield Snooker Open and Judd Trump, one of the greatest young players in the world, sitting there with a 2-1 lead. Some sort of comfort level, but anything can happen, and he knows it, he's been around the snooker world professionally for nine Thank years and faced all of these situations and will know Just that he's still got plenty of work to do. And uh, this is a change in the whole game too, the whole professional game. Trump's trying to get behind the yellow every time but off the cushion. Previously, years gone by, people are just trying to put it tight on that uh, top rail, but now he's, trying, he's going for the snooker. You can see one red. There it is. Played a deep screw shot to make that red three times as hard and he didn't even get into the screw part of it so well. So another opportunity for Trump. Shaw will be disappointed with that. One. So these uh, two players met on four occasions before in their young careers and it's been two frames apiece each so certainly Judd will know what to expect I'm assuming that in those frames that Xiao played in the same sort of cavalier fashion that he's showing us at the moment Seven. just wonder if he's got a plan B Spread here if he wants to smash the pack up. No, he 
didn't hit those reds that well and uh, somewhat unlucky as well. That Trump showed his ability pretty early. He became the youngest player at less than 15 Set years of age. He was 21. 14 years and 208 days to make a, a competitive maximum. That's a, a 147. And he beat the record then of Ronnie O'Sullivan. On the English. On the 15 championship at the age of 10. Good pot there from Zhao. It was a better pot than it looked too. He, I think he put some right hand side on it, so he might have had to allow for the deflection of the cue ball there. So he's got another chance to fight back to level this match, but he's got a lot of work to do here. Black's not easy, but it's on. So that's what he sort of looks at before he has a, has a go at the table where the colours are placed. Dong uh, gets that rest back very quickly. It's Ding Junhui, uh, who we've seen here in the tournament in previous years, sort of led the, the Chinese wave, but they, they call this guy and Liang Wenbo part of the second wave of Chinese players to come through. And there's a third wave behind them. That's Hu Haoshan and Xiao Xintong and Wang Shui, who's a 14 year old, is a wild card in the uh, Shanghai Masters. And he lost to Zhao in that as a 14 year old. So they just keep coming. Yeah, I, I could put it another way. I think there's a tidal wave of uh, Chinese players coming. This telecast goes right back to China. There's actually uh, a whole TV channel just for billiard sports. Well, they estimate um, when Ding plays, they have an audience of 100 million. Ding Junhui is on the leading sports people in China. 18. Behind tennis player Li Na. It's uh, still on that situation in China, Robbie. There's uh, 11 ranking events on the world tours, major ranking events, and five of them are now played in China. Well, that sums it up, really. Uh, the game is spreading in other parts of the world, but the big uh, those big tournaments are certainly majority in China. The smaller ranking events all throughout Europe and Asia. lives in England but uh, last year they opened a very big snooker academy up in Beijing Chabudong 26 so he's come back
nothing in this fourth frame. And that's a bit of a disaster. Players are always looking to miss that double kiss. He knew it was on, but he hit it wrong. Could have been worse, but is it the plant here? Yeah, he sure is. He's got to make it on, though. Now, he could be unlucky. It's the red hindering the black pot. It's close. Good look at that. He wants he's having another look. More than a look, I think. Oof. No. <laughs> Second on one. snooker though probably when these guys get you know, a little time off the tour to get a, a good practice block in uh, how many hours a day do they practice well it varies but you can have a couple of sessions of solo for an hour, two hours each no problem with that and sometimes they'll just go and get their practice partner and play a session It's a massive session, maybe all from lunchtime to evening, five, six hour match, just potting balls and match play. I'm well, really about Neil Robertson who's sort of changed his practice regime a bit over the last year by cutting them back to about three hours and getting as much what he calls quality into it. I think the, the better you are and the older you get, exactly what you have to do. One. Oh, Trump has a chance of getting away again here. Pink ball. that angle fifteen sixteen he's only a youngster but he, he plays the game with such a maturity time to this tournament. He came in the first year in 2011 and uh, went out first round. We were robbed of the, a chance to get a good look at Judd Trump. But we've seen plenty of him this year. It's been good to see. Well, yeah, I saw him after that match and he, he wasn't happy about 
I don't think you realise the consequences of uh, travelling that far. 31. And the jet lag and everything. He, he didn't really prepare himself properly, but this time he looks very fresh. Well, he was a 21-year-old then, and it's, it takes a little time to gather all that experience. It's not just the experience at the table, isn't it? It's life experience and being able to work these things out because it was the first year of the Australian tournament and they, well, it's the one they travel furthest yes. to and like anybody coming to Australia from the Northern Hemisphere it's a bit of a culture shock on how long it takes to get here But he looks well prepared this year. And preparing to take a 3-1 lead here. That just hung on the lip of the slate there. Normally doesn't drop <laughs> after that. Now he can't make 100, but he might try and please the crowd in a second. 58. Yep, that's not the conventional shot. 62. <laughs> oh, my there goodness. we go. <laughs> and that's hardly conventional either. <laughs> and for the, his third trick. Not quite. No, he's just playing the snooker. <laughs> so looking very impressive is Judd Trump in this semi-final slash as the players take a break and he's leading his young rival, Joe Gudon, by three frames to one. Davis was practicing Frame away five. and... Joe Gudon took a break. Neil was standing at the table and I was really... Some players really it would be a bit bothered about a player chatting to them while they're just warming up and practicing but no such thing there they were talking and uh, so it's going to be exceptional final tonight, uh, semi-final I should say yeah, I just get a feeling about Mark Davis who's been playing well this week but um, he's bringing a lot more confidence to the tournament this year I mean, he's a long time pro, and been around but Sounds very content with life at the moment. Well, basically since the inception of this tournament, he's gone up a couple of gears in the game. He's, he's always been a good player, but he hasn't got to too many semis and so forth until the last couple of years. Well, that's a big miss there for Xiao. So a couple of opportunities he's had. So I'm begging. And they mentioned that uh, Gudong went to the practice table what? in the interval. But I don't think that helped him on that shot. Now, Chad has got a fine cut, this is missable oh right it's line it's but rare that you see that yeah but you know, that's what it, you know it wasn't that easy a shot but you really don't, yeah as you say didn't have enough legs on it you mentioned he went to the practice tables Robbie but um, practice tables are going to be a little bit different now to what this table is, this one has been Reclothed. Practice tables probably the same as they've had a lot of play on them upstairs. Yep, yeah, that's for sure. Cloth, cloth has been roughed up, worn out a little bit. So the side has a totally different effect, but he just wanted to get his arm going. Get that one. 
terms of getting back his rhythm on this match table. Looks like he's left the red on too. One. Yellow he can't get the black. He could try and get the yellow in off the black. That's the way he's headed. Ooh. But for that, he had to go cushion first. Very attacking shot. Could have played the snooker then. Just roll up against the yellow. I, I'd say nearly the majority of professionals would have just rolled up there because the reds were spread. You don't see a lot of emotion from Judd Trump with just a little bit of a flick of the cue then was an indication that he was unimpressed with that effort. One so he keeps giving Xiao Guo Dong uh, chances the way he is. He's passed up, well not passed them up, just hasn't taken his chances the last couple of times at the table. Just get the feeling, Robbie, if he can get a roll on Come an entirely different player. Well, that's that's all about snooker, ebb and flow. Seven. Black, but even play a backspin shot there, maybe. Well, he took the first okay. option and he did it perfectly. That was uh, harder than it looked, actually. He had to play it with pace, the right amount of pace to cannon the red away. Zhao building a break now. If you can get this red and get back on the black. 21. tournament break of 142 did this year in the China Open so he can build a break so anyone at this level of the game 29. needs to be able to Thirty. Yeah. White didn't run on there sounded a bit like a kick, but he's not asking the cue ball to be cleaned. He's uh, looking apprehensively. He wants this red directly in line with the white to be on. He's got another option, but that's Quite a bit harder. Still should get it, but that's what he wants to get. It's so close. Probably could play it with a touch of left hand side, but he's got this other option, but he's got to get the rest out. And 
and uh, very good Thank shot you. there, really. The crowd, of, well, some of them appreciate it because you can sometimes be upset that one red isn't on, but so close and just lose concentration and focus. Where to go here, Robbie? He's very straight on the blue. Yes, yeah, so there's uh, there's a red on into the left hand pocket near the near the pink. Oh, he can even screw back a little bit. The right hand reds. And he, he had a bit of an angle to get a bit closer to the red I first uh, discussed. So he's in prime position. He's going to have to get some more uh, long stuff out. And there's a youngster in the background and he's looking very keen, isn't he? <laughs> That's great. Love his jumper too. Well, that's not so great, but there you go. <laughs> yes, it uh, would be a pretty common sight in England to see young kids that age watching the game, and in fact. And you read so many Obviously. of the backgrounds of the pros and how they started playing on the lounge room floor and with balls at that age. Short and cues up on the table, or mini tables. Choice of two reds here. 54. This one will take him back to the black. Fifty-five. It's actually gone too far. like to get another red after this, that's for sure, to make the frame certain. But there was no angle back, so he's got a long red on, and uh, snooker's required, but Trump's still well in the frame. We've been following the tournament earlier in the week. The matches up to quarter-final stages were best of nine. This is the best of 11. So 3-1 down. 62. Yeah, fighting back. Looking for a edge a little bit closer. and 59 on the table, 59 possible on the table. So the long red's on. And oh. look at that for a shot. Ooh, hey. <laughs> and he's played it too. There's no luck in that. He knew the white was going to go crashing into the red. It's a hold for the black. Now he wants 
want to take eight. two more reds and then maybe try the snooker required. Nine. next to the pink do you want to leave it there or do you <laughs> well, want to pot it that was the easiest ball to snooker mm. and he's thinking about it but uh, he's on that red this is surprising he must be thinking of something special like, like that, that. <laughs> <laughs> Now the reason he's done that is he wanted an angle on this blue so he can get down to where he's looking at so he can just stun behind the red. But he's got he hasn't got much of an angle to get back down the table, but if if anybody's got the cue power, he has. And he's Oh, he nearly fluked it. And he's fluked the snooker nearly. <laughs> Seventy. Not quite though. Close. Um a wasted opportunity after having a chance. Oh, well. Wow. That makes it tough. One. The pendulum was already in the favour of Xiao Guo Dong, but it's very much in favour at the moment. Wow. Uh, that's no ordinary pot. Six. Oh. <laughs> Doing it all now. Eight. Well, it gives you an idea of the ability of this guy, particularly with the shackles off. Eleven. He pots this. He's in really good nick. Eleven and a frame. Uh, that'll be enough. So, good. so only one frame six piece is here. We're playing the best of eleven, and it's three two to Judd Trump and Zhao. Just taking a little toilet break there, so Judd Trump will sit. So, what do you make of that, Robbie? Oh, great stuff, and uh, you can see the crowd rushing in now. You can't come in in between frames. It'll be too disruptive. So a big crowd in, and oh, have a look, and there's, uh, there's something special with their matches that happened in 2011-12 season. They had the Players' Tour Championship Series, the professionals, and... Uh, there they're looking in the background they're having fun that chap he was at the front there the, uh, the little fella at the back but anyway they were playing the players tour series now oh, let's have a look at the, the stats first in this in this game with some highlights and this was very unusual dropping short and this was a very attacking shot if he missed it on the other side Big chance of it going in, coming off one cushion, but never shirking an issue. Either of these players, actually. So, Gudong was uh, well in the game, but he missed, and Trump came back. But he actually missed the blue there when he had a chance of a good snooker on the final red. I'll try and get back to that story another time, but. The little fella in the background was so, so good, I had to talk about him for a second. But really, this match is right right on a knife edge. If Kadon can come back now, level, you couldn't pick a winner. The 
Good weighted shot there. So the tactics of either player, Robbie, do they go with what they've been doing or could you alter anything? Well, I think they've only got one gear and that's attack really. So I think we'll still see a free flowing game. Tell me oh. if the balls go awkward and he <laughs> he turns away. He couldn't he couldn't watch that once he saw it rattled the jaws. I was wondering if something distracted him there because he did look away very quickly as a distraction perhaps, but maybe not. I just think he mishit it really and now is he gonna pay the penalty? None of these are easy pots by a long shot because they are a long shot. Not a lot in the long pot success One. between the two of them. Yeah. Yeah, seven from 11 for Judd and uh, five from 11 for Rodon. Success has dropped a fraction, but still very acceptable. Anything 90% over is very good. Nine. Already had two century breaks in this match so far. He started off in brilliant fashion. Rattled off 114 in the first frame. And then Xiao Guodong came back in the second frame. And then Trump stepped up to the table again in the third frame and had 101. wanted to get one bit fuller on the pack there so he could push the reds towards Coffee. the right hand side of the table but white skimmed off the pack there's shots on but none easy well, may have Coffee. been even too attacking You can only say that when you miss. When they get them, it's a great shot. One. Keeping it just above the blue. It there. Had a couple of looks before it dropped, but the slow pace helped there. Six. But he didn't get the position he, he wanted. So hit that red. The rest of the pink. Six. And there's the bork area and the bork line.
Rambo. He's played that sort of shot a couple of times now, just cutting the ball in and finding the right angle to get right back up the table without working the cue ball. You've got to say that seemed a Just bit too fight. hard. He missed mm. it anyway, but he whacked it a bit. So tight those pockets at that sort of pace. It'll be very accurate. That's the way he plays the game. Four-year-old Judd Trump and 25-year-old Xiao Dong. Trump has been to world number one for Xiao Dong. He's been in the final of a ranking tournament before. That was in the uh, Shanghai Masters last year. He beat Michael Holt in the semi-final and then was up against his Countryman Ding Jun Wei in the final. First time ever for a Chinese, all Chinese final in a ranking event. And it was Ding that won that one, 10 6. Well, he's left that red right over the pocket. But he has won tournaments, hasn't he? As you said, Asian Under-21 champions. That's no mean feat. And he even won the Chinese national title in 2011. I'm pretty sure that's hotly contested. Yeah. Knowledgeable crowd. He played that with left-hand side to hold for the blue. Trump and his good mate Jack Lasowski have a holiday planned in America after this tournament because all of the players have about four weeks off after this one. Well, Jack Lasowski got rubbed out in the first round. He's had to wait and wait to see how long his mate lasts in the tournament. Well, he's going pretty well so far and he's Six. hoping to get through to Sunday. want to kiss the brown. It's a bit careless. He's got the yellow but it's a lot harder to get up the table. He's got a bridge over the green and the brown. Easy safety shot here but he avoids those. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do it again too. And no problem. Made it look easy. Still got no. some work to do here. Get right back in the ball. Done. And just still a bit more. It's a tight pocket, this one, and he's just on the wrong side of the black. Yeah, a little grimace there. power and a half. That, that was a tremendous shot. 17. 
A lot of backspin, left hand side, and that went straight in that tight pocket. Ooh, just caught it. Didn't go in as that one didn't go in as straight. But now he's back in prime position after a lot of hard work. Twenty four. about this match, Robbie. Judd Trump gets his hand on the table for just about every shot and we're in the sixth frame and he's yet to use the rest. 39. Well, that means he's playing good position. There is another thing with Judd I have to mention that he, he does play right-handed so he won't play many rest shots anyway. the ball, 59 ahead 59 remaining 46 he just checks the scoreboard so I don't think he'll do anything too rash 47. and there's the crowd they know when when it's frame ball earlier on in the week we had uh, one chap Always clapping on match, on frame ball, doing the equation. And I found out this morning he, he was a math teacher, or is a math teacher. So, particular interest to him. Well, there's another hundred on here. 63 possible, so he doesn't want to get too low a ball colour with this shot. And he can hold 61. for the blue, so that's fine. Well, he wanted to go a bit further there and. 66. Still using. Well, he uh, wants. Let's see, right. there you go. No, no rest there. And I think he's missed it. Oh no! Missed the pace. <laughs> well, that's the pace was perfect. Yeah, the softer you hit it, the more chance it has of sliding off the jaw, especially on this new cloth. And look at the side, get the angle perfectly. The crowd love it. They just want more centuries. 76. Millimetre perfect. He can make 101 if he clears up to the black. Eighty three. Great stuff by Judd. Ninety four. And is he gonna I don't think he'll do it too fancy here. He wants this century. Uh, perfect situation where he changed his mind and missed. Well, so there's the situation. Judd Trump grabbing a four frames to two lead. And the big disappointment <laughs> to the crowd anyway is that he missed out on a third century for the match. 
And he should have got that, and he was very upset with himself. And this was twice as good a shot. Judd Trump doing a terrific job in this sixth uh, frame. As I mentioned he didn't have to use a rest at all, but uh, <laughs> who needs it when you can pot like that, right-handed, left-handed, and in very good shape at the moment. Best of 11 frames, and he needs two more to get a spot in the uh, final tomorrow. Exciting frame so good, in lots of ways. I'm sure he just changed his mind at the last minute. He was going to whack that black in <laughs> for an exciting century, and he thought, no, I'll just make sure of it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I think he'll still be a bit upset missing that black. You've got to think that he's feeling reasonably confident at the moment. The way he attacked that. But what he's done here is leave a red up for young Gugon. I so young, he's a touch older than Judd, but they're both young players. Climbed it and went for the safety. Well, he used the jaws there and the brown for safety. Quite how he played it, but it's all right. Now looking for the line of the green. The crowd like it, but Judd can hit the red. Well, he's hit that too thin. Damage done. Unless he's got this. Oh. <laughs> well, he hooked a, a ball earlier on in the match. He made a frame winning break out of it. This time, he might be done. able to create a frame winning opportunity via the snooker. into the seventh frame and we haven't seen too many snookers in this match so far. It's not that type of match. Now, can he nestle into one of the balls? In his previous matches, Trump, he did show some good safety shots, though, and he wants to. Just trying to nestle in. Gone round the back of that red. Played some good safety to beat uh, McManus in the last 16. Back. Doesn't like it. Well, that's a bit of a surprise. Mm. Because if he hits this just a fraction better and gets on the inside of that red on the right hand side there, it'll be safe. Yep. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> That's what the line he wanted, just a bit harder. Good on. Hoping that uh, he can get an opportunity out of this. Turned up what we thought was a reasonable opportunity. Fallon and Miss. Ciao, good on. Well, even though he's giving points away, it's, it's not a catastrophe, but if he leaves a red on, it could well be. Or pace this time. Oh, it's still short, isn't it? That's okay. <laughs> wow. Well, he barely hit that. Yeah. Well, I didn't disturb the red at all. I normally, if that's the case, the referee calls out touching ball because it just sits there, but it's done very well. And Zhao might be uh, paying the penalty too, not taking on that red when he always left it. Blokes attempt uh, all kinds of pots so far in the first six frames of this match, and now it's just taken another twist. Well, this is better. out to see the red. That was a bit careless by mm. Trump because it was the red was always going to go over this pocket. And he bustles through the Ooh. pack there. One. Some reds out of the way, but I think the pink sign. Pink, yeah. pink sign in the centre pocket, but then he'll be going away from the reds. Here's a good angle for the viewers. It's on, but it's not easy. Oh, has that got the pace? Well, we've no. seen two. One. Two shots not make the mark. That was a long way off. Not even sure he went for it, to be honest. You're playing with heavier balls out there. Well, there's a new cloth on it. It may be a bit slower on the bed as well, but look where the wide is, Phil. I don't think he went for that. Well, he should have. He didn't. One. More and more long pots going in for this man. And if they go in, he's virtually unstoppable. Run too far here, or does he get through? Oh, that's. Looks like it's beautifully played. Four. Just jump. Thank you. But that 
series of um, snookers that Joe was able to play before. He's edged ahead in the safety success. 19 from 22, which is very high. 86% to 71%. Well, he might have left the plants on here. Well, he's got to get to it first. Yep. Might have to make it on. Not sure if it's right in the pocket. Might be going towards the jaw a little mm. bit. Risk and reward here. Reward. <laughs> Didn't quite black. hit it the way he wanted. He wanted to screw across and maybe dislodge the black but and flick up for the pink. But he's still got the pink on from another angle. Just to make it a bit more Seven. interesting, it's rolled a fraction too far, but there's a red on. Snook it on the one in the centre, but this one to the corner is on, and he gets the rest out here. Yep, first time in seven frames. And. 100% success <laughs> rate. Well, he wanted the cannon onto that red to leave himself the red that's on, but he's got to bridge over it now. And he played the Australian Gold Fields Open once before. That was back in 2011. He lost to Mark Davis in the first round. Ooh. Just run. Mark Davis is in the other semi-final tonight against Australia's Neil Robertson. You can see that from 7 o'clock on Fox Sports. Just directly just press the red button. First, we need to separate these two. And just went a bit far to make it easy. Straight in the middle of the pocket, though. It's not going to lie down. Yeah. Oh no, he's a long way from being out of this. Best of 11. And uh, commentator's curse. Shout him to get that Seven. one. Doesn't show much uh, emotion though. Similar shot, One. fraction easier this time and makes no mistake. And it's this sort of position that Jaguar Dong needs to capitalise on if he's going to uh, 
win this frame. If he wins this frame, really, it could become a dogfight. He loses, it gets tough. Trump just needing two more frames for place in the final. Been there 57 percent of the time. Jiao Guodong 43. It's about where the score lies at the moment. It's about the, the difference in the two players. And the average shot time: 18 seconds to Trump. And Jiao has 22 seconds. Which is pretty quick, isn't it? Yeah, because that includes the thinking time. They've played a bit more safety the last frame and a half. 15. Still, perfect. <laughs> the strength of that applause there, you just get the feeling the crowd is swinging behind the underdog here. Of course, they would love to see this go 11 right frames, get the full day's entertainment. Lots of right hand Thank side you. to create the angle. The city of Bendigo has a great. Chinese heritage. So many Chinese came here during the gold rush in the early 1800s and if you go through the city you'll see that commemorated in various places including a wonderful Chinese museum. It's just on the end of the Roslyn Gardens. And the links continue this match being shown live back in China. You think she's out for his own little pot of gold here at the moment. $75,000 it is for the winner of this tournament tomorrow. Thirty-five. He got the red out. Is the pink in the way? Now he gets down quickly. Thirty-six. Oh. Just to make it a little bit interesting. Last two reds at ends of the table. And he took his time with that one. I think he re-aimed it a couple of times. 38. But in the end he's played a perfect shot. Forty the difference, forty three on the table. 
Oh. Unbelievable. Gee, that was on he did all the hard work, didn't he? And so often you see that. That was nearly the easiest shot in the break. All he needed was this. He wanted to come round the angles, but he had to make sure of that ball. This could be a disaster for the young man from China. The last red's interesting. Well, he can get back on the black and bring that down. That's what he wants to do. He's, he won't be happy with black. that. And he rubs his brow for a split second. That's about as much as you'll get from Judd Trump. But because if he potted the black, it had come back near the red, and he would have cleared. Well, that was his plan to clear up anyway. If he takes the brown, it's hard to get on the red, and then he's got nothing to play play for again. He he wants the black still. Oh, well done! This is a big shot. It's more than big. That's a fantastic attempt. He's on the red, but... <laughs> Difficult, isn't it? Well, he can't stay on the black anyway. He's going to go to, down the balk anyway, so... <laughs> but uh, for courage, full marks. Well, the crowd are clapping, but it, it could have been a lot better. It's just flicked out. You can come off the cushion easily. But where will the red land? And this frame so important. Well, that's a good out. <laughs> well <played. laughs> He's having a good long look at it. 32 the difference. 35 on the table. red for the frame. Mm. He's got it. Oh. And he bows his head. He should have gone round pretending he went for it because it's actually on. Gave himself up on it, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> So, um, in the old parlance, it used to be called the cocked hat shot. That angle isn't uh, totally unnatural. If you go for it. But uh, that makes it very interesting. Well, there's lots of ways of getting back into the match. And there go Dong. In there. Oh, gee, you almost had enough there. So we've done eight and the same. And that's the frame. Jago Dong and he inches a step closer. Seven frames down and it's Trump four. But Jago Dong three. And we expected this to be reasonably tight but it's really starting to tighten up now. And great entertainment for the crowd and great entertainment for the audience on television right across the world. Yes, and this frame had everything. He had missed balls here, and that was a bit unusual by Trump. But look at the cue power and the precision there. Just misses the black to get perfect on the black. And he got this ball out as well. So everything looking good for this man. And then he goes and does that. <laughs> so you've got a bit of everything. Show with John and Seth here. Well, we didn't see that. We haven't got time there. So we, we didn't see the courage of uh, the, the shot he just played into the centre, but we're going to see another great frame, that's for sure. He can't wait to step up at the table. Four frames to three. Judd Trump. And it's 
best of 11, so first to six. Easy there. Out. Jet transport. So, he doesn't look too perturbed. He should be happy. Luke, the last frame ball, basically. But Trump has got a long shot on here. He can get on the black. Easy as that. He's making it look easy, but that's not an easy shot. Try to move both threads, actually. The black goes on the spot there. Eight. Now, is it on though? That's the question. To that right pocket. Then things are simple, well, relatively simple. You pot the red along the cushion and just roll up for the black, but if that black isn't on, it changes the dynamic. Well, he's played for it. Must be pretty tight though. He's having another look. Just look at it there. That is tight, isn't it? It might just slide off the jaw. Or can be distracting too when it's this close. Yeah. You're never going to die wondering. Just is it? <laughs> I was just thinking they get into their shots fairly quickly, both of these players, and rather fortunate we've got one of the younger referees, Marcel Eckhart doing the game because the referees have to cover a fair bit of distance and get some of the quicker players and they often want to get into their shots before the uh, referee has re-spotted the ball. Almost see them elbow to side sometimes. He was looking round just in case he missed that he wouldn't leave that red into the left hand pocket, but see how he's gone. kind of ability to be able to do that. Well, he didn't want the white to flick off the pack. He wanted to stay right in it. Eight. Had some fortune where the white kissed the blue. the rest used that little extension so he could have his normal cue action and played it perfectly on the pink. Trump, if he can win this frame, it's just one frame away from placing tomorrow's final. And 
tonight. We've got the Australian champ Neil Robertson up against England's Mark Davis in the other semi. And that will be something. Mark Davis has been in tremendous form this week. Neil Robertson had uh, a tough one against Andrew Higginson. Then had a walk in the park in the second round. Five zip. Had to work hard last night for a place in the semi. Just waiting there because he's slightly on the wrong side of the pink. So he's had to change his mind and go for the other red here. Shouldn't be a big problem. 22. Comes the right hander. Well, he tried to screw off the red and come back to the pink. Hasn't worked out very well. So many of them are able to do that left to right hand now, Robbie. Matthew Stevens are very good at it. Who's the best? Ronnie? Yeah, there's no doubt. He. For a while there, he played entire matches left-handed. One. A big opportunity here for Judd Crump. Yep. Continues on his way. Once he gets down into the balls, he can, like so many of them, get it done very quickly. game snooker is that can turn in a moment from just a couple of moments ago and very much in the balance and now just in seconds swinging back so much in favour of Judd Trump 24 yeah, yeah just didn't do that uh, safety shot justice and uh, left it for Judd Trump now in the box seat the reds are open Needs this red. 30. 31. And now he gets that a little bit quicker. If that's possible. <laughs> 37. 45. Not quite enough balls there this time for a century. 46. But to keep Xiao off the table would be good, and he's not going to come back anyway, but just a bit longer for the next frame. Perfect little kiss there. 53. 54.
16. And he's now 16. playing like it's just a little practice frame. Closer to a spot in the final at five frames to three and needing one more frame and a big job right now in front of the Chinese player Xiao Gudong. And just a moment for us to take a little ride through the Yarra Valley here, just uh, east of Melbourne and over the wineries that are so much a part of the landscape in this part of the world and superb wines. Spend some time there. Lunch is in the winery, Tom. We'll have a look at uh, some of the stats here and very much look at the total points. Yeah, look, uh, Judd Trump is potting Zhao off the table now. 613 points to 282. The ball pot potted is nearly double there. 172 it is. And 90% pot success rate to 85%. It's been a good quality match, that's for sure. The safety, Zhao's tried to get get back in the match that way, but hasn't quite worked out for him. Long pots, that's the issue. When Judd Trump gets his long potting percentage up in the 70s and above, he's almost unstoppable, and he's made these breaks, 101 and 114. So can this Thank man get nine. back in the match by winning this next Sorry, frame? Don't. It's hard to stop the Judd and all. You mentioned the Juddernaut. He's had more nicknames than just about any player on tour, hasn't he? He was he first came out, he was had the very flamboyant hairstyle, he was known as Mr. Haircut. <laughs> he called him the ace in the pack. Danny the boy. <laughs> All of those. <laughs> Big thing in Snooker, probably the the nicknames? Yeah, look, um, because he's such a flair player and he was so young, they were looking for the right one. You know where I'm headed with this, though? Yeah, I know. What's the Polvari nickname? Oh, there's plenty of bad ones. <laughs> Originally it was the Steel Cat, but then it went down the drain, I think. The Steel Cat? Yeah. But, yeah. In the olden days, <laughs> way back, there wasn't many nicknames actually. This is more a new thing, last 10 years, I think. I'm trying to think of a derivation for the steel cap there. Going to help me with this? Not really, no. no it, used to, it used to be those tyres, I think. That's what I'm thinking. And, uh, the steel cap yeah, they used to last a long time and just oh. keep going. I think, I don't know. But anyway, let's get on some more interesting stuff. And this is it because there's the two hours up for the match time and these guys can really rattle off the balls. But one thing's for sure, you've got to concentrate for a long time at snooker, whatever the situation. It's that two-hour mark... Um it was the average shot time, but the average frame time is under 15 minutes, 14.55. So they've done that well, and they've it's been a reasonable amount of safety in there, but they just get things done very quickly. You don't see either of these two standing there and spending a minute thinking about a shot. It's the draw here, not. But to uh, be fair to the other players, these these two are very attacking. So. They cut a couple of shots out of their mind, whereas other players might be more tactical because, in general, because they're not as good potters. So they've got to do something else, and that's what's 
also good about the game. There's a bit of variety. Well, I don't know how he went round the back of that. I suppose with good play, really. But uh, because the white slowed down a lot, I don't think he hit it exactly the way he wanted. Oh, a bit of uh, motion there. He doesn't like it. Don't see him pull many faces, that's for sure. Only deadpan. Shao good dog. He's in a very tough situation now, is Gudong. Going to do something very special in this frame. Trump before so that can be at the back of his mind well this is if he goes for it it's a massive shot well he definitely pulled the trigger on that one well he just run out of safety options that's probably why he had to go just see a bit more emotion because it's getting close to the end if he doesn't start potting some balls. Trump with a chance. One. I just wonder what uh, Gudong's mindset is at the moment because he can't really afford to sit back and let the match come to him. He's got to do something. Well, he had a big go, but it didn't work out for him. And now Trump is right in the balls. Seven. He shouldn't be seeing the finish line, but just play it shot as it comes. But I'm sure, I'm sure he's thinking about it. Start a break. So he's always thinking, and uh, he knew very well that if he pots that black, it won't go on its own spot and goes on the lowest colour spot, the yellow. Yeah, it just changes the dynamic a bit, doesn't it? Changes his mind. Sixteen. He's on the pink. This is the type of shot the amateur misses a lot, actually. He didn't knock around with that, though. <laughs> That's one of the big differences. I've seen the pros miss it a few times, too. There's been some very good players this week miss exactly that shot. 23. 
Well, he won't be too happy with that. He's finished the wrong side of the blue. He's tempted to pop the black and get that back up the table. Might be where he's going too. No, back to the blue. A lot of Q power. It's pretty straight, that blue. 28. 29. You'd think if the black was on spot you almost good night good on but uh just changes it up a little bit makes it much harder work here for judd trump well that's a classy shot if the, that four. red just goes straight in front of him across the table Such a great break builder. Well, not everybody would see that shot, but he's played it perfectly. Great angle to go up the table again. And uh, the viewers in China won't be very happy if he continues this break much longer. exhibition this of break building isn't it because he's doing it the hard way to LA and Las Vegas at the end of this tournament well he grabs a place that looks like he's headed now for tomorrow's final he's got a guaranteed $32,000 to take with him well you could do some damage in Las Vegas with that yeah you could say Viva Las Vegas <laughs> but anyway this is the crunch 62 might just have a plant on just to put the nail in the coffin. It looks on. So pink first. Here it is. And just to punctuate this victory. 68. He plays the plant. Crowd, no. That's the end. But now, there's still 135 on. Oh. Disappointed in that. And there's the confession from Jack Rudolph. So, Jack Cup is through to tomorrow's final in emphatic fashion. Six frames to three. It was tight early, but Judd Trump was just always had his head in front and played magnificently to progress to tomorrow's final. And it, it was a great match by Trump in particular. 6-3, 682 points.
just 282. He's dominated in the end with 193 balls potted to 82, and he raised his pot success again into the 90s. The safety, Zhao tried his best, but the long pots, Trump just, just was too good. And every time he got in, he made a significant break. He made 69, 67, 94, 67, 101. And he started with the best break of the day, 114 in the first range.